Hello everyone, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. Today I'm going to be going over how to install Rasterlink onto your computer. This is going to be a fresh install. This computer's never had Rasterlink before. I will also do another video on how to deinstall Rasterlink and reinstall if you're having problems. Um, this one's just going to be going and downloading the software, the drivers, the profiles, and, and adding it to a computer. So if you're changing computers and you need to get the software on it, this is, this is how you're going to do it. And you will have to deactivate the license from your old PC if this is what you're doing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mamakiusa.com and get the software and everything. But I've also created a folder on my desktop called Mamaki Rational Link. There's nothing in it. This is just a folder for me to store stuff as I go and get the downloads. I'm going to create another folder inside of here that's going to be called Profiles. That's where I'm going to store my profiles at when I download them. So we're going to go to the internet, and I have went to mamakiusa.com. Once you get there, um, you're going to go to Support and Drivers and Software Updates. First thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the driver and the profiles and then we'll go down and get the software. So you're gonna to go to Inkjet Printer. And this is gonna work this is gonna be where you're gonna to have to navigate to find your machine. So pretty common models of UJF 6042 Mark II. We're gonna select that one. And then here you'll have profile and you'll also have driver utility. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and get the driver. So the latest version here is the Maki Driver 4.20. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click download. It's going to take just a couple minutes to download the driver. And we will go ahead and run that when it's done. So it's running now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select Mamaki Driver Setup. I'm going to select English, Install. Make sure that your um, printer is not plugged into your computer through a USB at this point. I'm going to accept the terms and the license agreement. I'm going to click install. It's going to take a couple seconds. I'm going to select install here. Driver installed, please connect a printer or, or plotter. This is when I know that my driver has went all the way through and it is running properly. So if you do not see this screen, you may want to try running that driver again and going through these steps. So I'm going to select finish. We'll hit quit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the internet and we're going to go back to the profiles. So I'm just going to hit the back button to get there and then select profile. So your profile is going to be dependent on the machine you're running. So if you're running a UJF 6042 Mark II and it's an eight color machine, you need to know what ink type you're running. So LH100 is a very common ink that we use. Um, CMYK, so you got to make sure you select the right ones here. So I'm going to select CMYK LH100. If you're unsure, you can download all of them. It's just going to take longer. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. These are all the profiles for the LH100. So I'm going to select check all files. And then I'm going to hit download check files. I'm 
I'm just going to save these. It's going to save it to a zipped folder. We will have to extract it. So it saved it to a zipped folder in my downloads. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to drag it on my desktop. I'm then going to go into this folder and create another folder on the desktop real quick called 6042 MK2 profiles. I'm just going to drag and grab all of these. And just put them into that folder. Okay, now they're out of the zip folder. I will put that into the raster link folder. Okay, so we do have our driver and it is running. We do have the profiles. The last step on Mamaki USA is to go to the raster link and download its latest version. So I'm just going to keep it in the back version. You can also go back to mamakiusa.com, go back to support, drivers and software updates, and then scroll down to software. So I'm going to be running Rational Link 6. If you run Rational Link 6 Plus, it's the same steps. The main thing with this is getting the latest full version. So you got to make sure you're selecting the full installer here. If you select just the update, it's going to be just a portion of the software and it will not run your machine. You will have to delete that from the C drive and come back and get a full installer. So I'm going to select 515 full installer here. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Select download. And just select save. So there it is there, the 515 full installer. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Just minimize so y'all can see. I'm going to select download. This may take a couple minutes. I'm going to pause the video at this time. So that is finished downloading and download is complete is what's going to pop up. I'm going to select OK. It's then going to ask you where do you want to save this to. I'm going to put that in my install folder that I created. So now if I go to that install folder that I created, you're going to see that update installer there. So when I'm going to select it and click yes. This is pretty plug and play. You're just going to click yes, okay, English, and just go through the whole steps here. This won't take long extracting these files. So it is showing that I had some stuff on the C drive. where I've done this previously. So I'm going to run that again. I deleted that from the C drive. So it'll be these same steps. If that does pop up on you guys, just know to go to your C drive and delete that. RL6V15. So it went through that time, the installer's been expanded. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to select Install Rational Link 6 version 5.15. Now make sure if you have a dongle in right now, you disconnect it before you select OK. I'm going to select English. Select next. 
I'm going to accept the terms and license agreement. Select next, install. Just going to run through the process. So there it is, going to pop up on my screen. Y'all's computer may restart um, or ask you to before this will actually do this. When you restart, you will see it pop up on your desktop. So don't be alarmed if it asks you to do that. Still downloading. Once this gets downloaded, we're going to activate the license with our activation code that's on the inside of our box, our Rational Link box, and then we will add the profiles into the Rational Link that we downloaded before. So I'm going to select finish here. It's going to say you must restart your system for the configuration changes to be made. Um, I'm just going to restart later. So if I were you, I would select yes and restart. I'm going to select no. So if I go into Milwaukee Rational Link and click yes, it's going to power on your software just like you're used to seeing. Now we're going to activate our code. So once again, this is on the inside of the box. If you open the box up, it's going to be on the left. It's going to be your long serial code. I'm going to type that in here. Okay, I've entered in my activation code. I'm then going to select next. and then click finish. It's going to open up your Rational Link at this point. Before I add a printer, I will go ahead and add my profiles. It's going to take just a minute, and then all we like is adding a printer, and you guys will be ready to rock and roll. Make sure when this setup work folder comes on, you do select OK. This is where you're wanting to save jobs. So it's wanting me to add a printer now. I'm going to go ahead and since I've activated the license, I'm going to go ahead and add the profiles now because if I try to add a printer, you may see an error pop up down here. No profiles exist, so you will have to go back and add them anyway. So for time purposes, we're going to just close Rational Link and show you guys how to do that. So I saved those in the folder before. What we're going to do now is just go to our start button. You're going to scroll down to the M's. You're going to go to Mamaki Rastro Link 6. In Mamaki Rastro Link 6, you're going to see program update, profile update, profile manager. What we're going to do is we're going to go to profile manager. This is where we're going to install them. So this is what your profile manager looks like. You have to also make sure Rational Link is not open. You may try to open, open this up with Rational Link being opened up and it's going to throw you an error. So make sure Rational Link is closed. Um, I'm going to come up here to the top left and it is going to be device profile installation. So I'm going to select that. It's then going to want you to navigate to where your profiles are. So once again, we installed them in the Mamaki Rational Link folder, 6042 Mark II profiles. When I select that, it's going to add all of those profiles. I'm 
Okay, so I'm going to now at this point select the top one, hold shift, select all of them. Then I'm going to hit the arrow down. And I'm going to select OK. And that has finished the installation. So I will exit out of Profile Manager now. Okay, so the last step we lack is adding the printer and you are good to go. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get plugged into a printer now. So at this point, you would want to plug in your USB to your computer. All right, so I have got my 6042 Mark II plugged in and the power is on. The machine is sitting in local mode. So I'm going to open up Rationlink. Once Rastral Link's opened up, you're going to go to Add. Printer Management should pop up. If it doesn't, I'm just going to show you how to get there. It should be Environments, Printer Management. We're going to select Add. This should take a couple seconds. You'll see printer setting is popped up now. Uh, one of the main things to look at here is to make sure UJF 6042 with the serial number is popped up. Uh, your first step is going to be to scroll down to UJF 6042 Mark II. And then you can select this available printers. If you're not seeing this at all, make sure to uh, close Rational Link out and try reseating your USB. You got to make sure this is here. When I select that, it's going to recognize all my colors. You're then going to give your printer a name. You can name it whatever you want. We're just going to call this 6042MK2. And then we're going to click OK. So it's going to check all of the profile information. So once that's finished, I'm just going to select close. And now you will see all of your ink levels. At this point, you are ready to run. All you need to do is bring a file open, bring your file in. Um, once again, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. If y'all have any questions at all and need some help with this, feel free to give me a call. 615-866-74. Five, three. Thank you. Have a nice day.